In this problem, you are given uh, a few points in a 2D space and uh, the points have some order. So they will be given in some order. Like this point is first, this is second, this is third. And your task is to uh, find the minimum uh, distance, minimum time you will take to visit all these points in order. That is first this point, you will start from this. And there are some constraints on how you can or travel in this 2d plane so let's see so you can either travel so if you are at point xy this is xy I'm writing it here this point so you can take one step to the right and every step will count as one time unit so these are the steps that are allowed so either you can come here so let me draw a square around this square of side 2 so either you can come to this which is x is x plus 1 and y this axis denotes y or the second coordinate this is the first coordinate or x so these points first one will be along the horizontal axis and the second one along vertical axis so what is this point this is x plus 1 y y is unchanged here x is unchanged x y plus 1 and this is mirror of this x minus 1 y here it's x y minus 1 so these are four directions then you have these diagonals also so this is also just one unit one time one distance and what is this this is x plus 1 y plus 1 this is x minus 1 y plus 1 this is x minus 1 y minus 1 and what is this this is x plus 1 and y minus 1 so what's common among all of these distances so if you see this point here x component has changed by 1, y has not changed by anything. So the difference was 1, 0. Here the difference is 1, 1. Then here the difference is uh, 0, 1. Similarly here it's minus 1, 0. And one more, it's 0, minus 1. So these are the point uh, positions where one of the coordinates changes by 1. And let's write the other points which is diagonal points 1 1. This one is minus 1 1. This one is minus 1 minus 1. And this one is plus 1 minus 1. So what is common among all the 8 points? Uh, if you just see at the magnitude forget the sign or direction negative sign forget. So uh, either x changes by 1 or y changes by 1. I am writing the absolute value. It can be plus minus 1 or both x y change by. So maximum difference between these components is 1. But there will be at least one difference. So you have to find how you will cover all of these. So uh, you have to start from 1. So this is time unit 0. You cannot take a straight go to here since it's 3 and this is 4. So if you are at 1, 1, if you go diagonally, you, you will go to 2, 2, then 3, 3. So you will reach here. Then you will take up. So this is the minimum possible. So you have visited first, second. First you start, second you reached. Now you have to go to 3. And this is 3, 4. And this is minus 1, 0. So you see that what is the difference between 1 and 2. So it was 1, 1. So 2 minus 1. What will be the value? This will denote dx, dy. That is difference required to reach from 1 to 2. So here x has to be changed by 2. In x direction we will take 2 steps 
and in y direction we will take 4 minus 1 3 steps so uh, you have to take 3 steps to reach here you can take more also first go along x then go along y so you can take 2 plus 3 5 also but you see that you can reach in 3 steps only y take what's uh, make one of these 0 so that will be 2 2 plus 0 1 so this is 2 2 so you can go 1 1 in any direction in one unit so this will take two units of time and here you will just take this remaining thing whatever is remaining so 2 plus 1 3 and that you can also see from the maximum maximum value of x or y component one of these components absolute maximum value even if it's 2 minus 3 that is you need to go two steps to the right and three steps to the bot bottom that means here here 1 2 3 so instead of taking this what you will do you will take 1 2 and 3 so whatever is the maximum absolute value of the component that will be the minimum time required to reach to that point so here it was 2 3 so we take 3 steps so let's draw the points here how we will reach here it's 3 4 if we go diagonally we will reach 2 3 that is here then one step further both will reduce by 1 so this is 2 3 we will come to 1 2 that is here and then 0 1 which is here and then finally we will reach this minus 1 0 so how many units we have traveled 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so the answer for this will be 7 so this is the minimum time required to visit all these points in order so the approach here is again uh, you will see what is the difference between these two so subtract one of these from other so 3 minus 1 is 4 and 4 minus 0 is 4 so we have to travel 4 units in x direction and 4 units in y direction we will consider only the absolute values since uh, each one in each direction it's similar it does not matter which direction you are traveling so from here reaching here it's same as will take same time as reaching here or here if it's uh, along the same angle in any direction so uh, here it will take four units so even without drawing this you can calculate you will see what is the difference between these two uh, it's uh, 3 minus 1 is 2 4 minus 1 is 3 maximum is 3 so 3 plus next you have to go from here to here so you see the difference minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 0 minus 4 is minus 4 so take the absolute values only so it's 4 maximum so 4 now you have reached the end so you stop so this is 7 so you return so let's write the code for this so first we will write in C++ then we will move to Java and Python so this is the problem the same example and they have given that at least one point is there so you don't need to worry about uh, the base case that is this points is empty so n is at least one so p1 from where we will start initially it will be the first points So we are starting from uh, index 1 that is second point since we are already at first point so this will be our destination p2 
डी एक्स विल बी पी टू जीरो माइनस पी वन जीरो सो यू हैव टू कीप द ऑर्डर कॉन्स्टेंट इफ यू आर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग पी वन फ्रॉम पी टू देन इट शुड बी डन फॉर बोथ एक्स एंड वाई यू कैन डू द रिवर्स वे ऑल्सो सिंस वी विल बी टेकिंग एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू एनी वे सो दैट डज नॉट मैटर and once we have reached p2 for the next step this will be the starting point so now p2 becomes p1 is the p2 that is we have we are at p2 and next point will be p3 so this will get assigned to p2 so this is accepted let's submit and this solution in c++ is accepted now let's write it in java and python or uh, here we could have taken by reference as well let's see if it changes anything okay let me let me make it a vector of int i think this was not there uh so we could have kept it auto also i think i had added this sign in the end so not much improvement uh, so let's move on to java uh, here it will be math.max and math.abs and in the, in java it's taking 0 millisecond so we are better than 100% in terms of time as well as very close to 100% in memory so same algorithm but performs differently in different languages now let's write it in python 3 in python also it's not bad so what is the time complexity here uh, we are starting from first point and this all is constant subtracting one point from other we are subtracting two values so this is order 1 and uh, we are doing it for one point at a time so it's uh, proportional to the number of points so if there are n points the time complexity would be order n and we are not using any extra space we have just a few variables so this is the space complexity this is the time complexity so i ho hope you understood the problem it was a very simple problem you can uh, try out yourself